Hello children. So we saw in our last class that is our last chapter, our last lesson that is force and pressure. Okay, forces and pressure. So it is forces and pressure is given to any other object. It can be moving. How it is moving? It is based on the frictional force. Based on the frictional force. So what does mean by a frictional force? So one object it is. Uh, touching uh, coming to contact to the another object okay by moving an object is coming contact with the another object so it makes to move some more distance so that we can say it is a giving force that force we can say it is a frictional force for example for example a ball is moving on the ground okay a ball is moving on the ground so a ball the surface of the ball and the surface of the ground is both are coming with contact and it is moving okay so at the end it, the ball comes to rest so there it is a friction so the frictional force stops the ball the frictional force stops the moving ball we can say it is a frictional force okay so let us learn about a friction okay learn about friction in this class okay so what is mean by friction the familiar examples okay so can you remember the examples that is moving of your vehicle okay so moving of your vehicle the tire tires tires of your vehicle and the road okay so the surface of the road both are coming with contact while moving the vehicle okay so there it is a frictional force so the frictional force is depends upon the depends upon the surface of an object okay so that is increase of force or decrease of frictional force based on the surface of the objects okay and so a driver of a car or a truck so slowing down okay that is slowing down the vehicle at a traffic signal okay so at any traffic signal we have to stop the vehicle while moving fast also when we are seeing the traffic signal we have to stop the vehicle so while stopping there is a frictional force about that is the surface of the tires on the vehicle and the surface of the ground okay so both are comes with contact it stops the vehicle okay so there we can say it is a we can observe a frictional force so what is mean by friction so both the surfaces of an object comes with contact so that makes the friction okay so now let us see that is moving ball i told you no moving ball so friction is a force which resists the relative motion of surfaces i told you no, that is two object the surface of two objects comes with contact okay so that we can say it is a friction okay and here we can say that is rest and motion okay so while it comes with contact on two objects okay so it comes to rest so rest and then we are giving force to the one object it can be moving so rest and motion are relative terms okay so rest and motion rest and motion are relative terms rest and motion are relative terms okay so while comes to rest we want a frictional force we want some force okay so that is all types of surfaces okay they they will be including in the frictional force all types of surfaces means we have a states of matter okay what are the states of matter we have three states of matter what is solid liquid and gases okay here we can take solid liquid and air air is also a gaseous in form solid liquid and gas so this gas we can take here it is a air okay so in these three states also these three surfaces also are in a frictional effect okay so the surfaces of like solid liquid and air offer the force of friction okay so let us say one more example for this okay solid okay solid means i told you that is it is a 
moving of your ball on the ground. So ball is moving on the ground. So this is example for your solid. Okay, and liquid. So liquids. Okay. So here we are pouring a water on the glass, and on that we are pouring the kerosene or petrol or any other oily liquid. We are pouring on the water. Okay. So both doesn't mix. Is it right? Oil and water doesn't. Mix why because the density of oil is less than the water, so it also having a friction. Okay, solids are also having a friction. Or we are pouring a oil on a surface of the ground. Okay, we are pouring oil. Okay, so oil is a liquid. Is it right? Oil is a liquid. It flows on the ground. So while flowing that oil, there is a friction. So there is a frictional force. The oil is moving on the floor. Is it right? So there is a friction and air. Okay. So here air. What is air? What is the friction here? Air plane moves on the sky. Is it right? So there also there is a friction. Okay. So always friction opposite direction. Okay. So frictional force always applies in the opposite direction. Okay. So that is. Direction of movement. Okay, so friction is always occurs in the opposite direction of the movement. Okay, see here, air is there. Is it right? Air. So air plane is moving like this. Okay, the air is flows like this. Is it right? So opposite direction of air. Air plane is moving opposite direction. So the friction is applying opposite. So when friction is applying opposite, means the vehicle or any other objects can be come to rest okay while the ball is moving on the ground is it right when the ball is so this is a ground so ball is moving on a ground okay while the ball is rotating the force is applying in the opposite direction while the frictional force is applying opposite direction of the ball ball the ball comes to rest the ball comes to Okay, so the frictional force is always opposite direction of the movement of an object. This comes in your one mark question. Is it right? Keep in your mind, children. See, the frictional force always acts opposite direction of the movement of an object. Okay, so these are the properties. See, relation, rest and motion are relative terms. What is the friction? So friction is the force. Which resists the surface of the that is which resists the relative motion of the objects. Relative motion of the objects that is surface of the objects. Okay, what is the friction? Friction is a force. Friction is a force. There is opposite direction. Okay, frictional force is always opposite direction. What is the friction? Friction is a force. Okay, which resists the which resists the uh, rest and motion. Relative motion of the surface of the object. Friction is the force which resists the relative motion of the relative motion of the surface of the objects. Okay, and it can be applied on all the states. Okay, it can be applied on the all the states of the objects, and it can be shows the opposite direction of the objects, movement of the objects. Okay, these three are the Properties of friction. What does it mean by friction? It resists the relative motion of the object, surface of the object. Okay, and then it applies on all the three states. Okay, and frictional force is always moving in the opposite direction of the surface of the object. By moving the object, okay, opposite direction of the moving object. Okay, so in any object, we can take any example. We can take the frictional forces applies. Opposite direction of the moving object. Okay, while we are breaking the vehicle, we want to stop the vehicle on the traffic signal. We want to break it. Okay, so the uh, tire of the vehicle is moving like this. Is it right? The frictional forces giving applies on the tire on opposite direction. Okay, while moving the tire, it uh, that is uh, so while moving the wheel of the The uh, vehicles, okay. The wheel is moving, so it for uh, it flows the on the road, okay. So the direction of this frictional force applies in the opposite direction, okay. So this is the way that this frictional force is applied on the moving objects. 
Okay. So then we have that is how the frictional forces applied on the surfaces of the objects. Okay. That is after applying the brakes. Okay. After applying the brakes, we apply it on any other surfaces of the moving objects. There is a it offers the friction. Okay. So to stop the vehicles. Okay. So these are the things. Then factors affecting friction. So these are the frictional force. Okay. That is the properties of the frictional force. And what are the factors which affects the which affects the frictional force. So what are the factors? I told here only that is it moves the opposite direction. And also, okay, that is the irregularities on the surfaces of the objects, the irregularities, okay, factors. What are the factors affecting the friction? First one, the irregularities on the surface. The irregularities of the on the surface of the object. What does mean by irregularities? Okay. So here the surface is very smooth, is it right? It is very smooth and it is a regular way on the ground means we can say. So we can say the ball is moving at the same direction. Okay. If there is no level on the ground, okay, it can be like this. Some more unlevel grounds. Okay. Some more unlevel. Some more unlevel grounds. Okay, so here the ball is moving like this. Okay, so the ball is moving rotating and coming like this. So it can be straight here. Okay, through the so through the unlevel ground. Okay, so the book on the table. Okay, so the book on the unlevel table. Okay, so it can be moving slowly. While moving the book, there is a hump on the Table. Okay, so there is a like this. Okay, the book can be stopped on the hump on the table. Okay, so these are the irregularities. So while these irregularities, the frictional force can be stopping the stops the object. Okay, so the frictional force is applied. Okay, it, can, it cannot be applied on the irregularities, irregular surfaces of the ground. Okay. And then it is caused by the very difficult surfaces. Okay, so very that is increase in uh, increase in slope and decrease in slope. So here also there is no there is no frictional force. The object can be comes to rest. Okay, and then one more effect it, uh, factor it can be up, uh, affecting the frictional force. That is. Based on the weight of the objects, okay. So weight of the objects. So the weight of the object is more. It cannot moving easily. So ball is very less weight. It can be moving very easily. If we are having a hundred kg box, okay, on the sliding floor, hundred kg box on the sliding floor. Okay, so it is moving slowly on the floor. If it is very lightweight, okay, one kg box. So that one kg box is moving very faster than the hundred kg box on the sliding floor. Is it right? So based on the weight of the object also, it affects the frictional force on on the surfaces of the object. Okay, and then thus that is it is. Uh, regular surface offers more force of friction. So irregular, uh, irregular surfaces are doesn't offers the frictional force. So re, uh, it is a regular surface means okay. So it is a regular sur surface that regular surface offers more friction. Okay, more friction. It moves very fast. I told you this. Less weight objects are having more. Comparing to the high weight objects, okay. As the same here also, irregular surfaces doesn't offers the frictional force, and regular surfaces are uh, having more friction, okay. 
So these are the factors affecting the frictional force on the objects. Okay, surfaces of the objects. Okay. So we are seeing day to day life very so so many incidences that is having frictional forces. Okay. So we are walking on the wet floor. Okay. We are walking on the wet floor. Suddenly we are having a slippery. Okay, slippery surface. So we are uh, fell down. Okay, we are having to fell down on the slippery surface. So that is also that is also based on the frictional force. Okay, and we are having so many things. Okay, on the on our hand. So that also we are slipping it out. Okay, based on the frictional force. Okay, so so many things we are seeing in our day to day life. Is it right, children? Okay. So now let us move on to the another topic. That is types of friction. Now we saw what are the factors which is affecting the friction. Okay. So that is regular, irregular surfaces and weight on the objects. Is it right? And based on this, we have a types of friction. Okay. So types of friction. What are the types of friction? What are the types of friction? So we have four types of friction. Okay. So we have four types of friction. So one is static friction. Static friction. So what is mean by static friction? So we are standing on the ground. Is it right? We are standing on the ground. So while standing also there is a friction. Okay. So there is a friction based on the gravitational force. Before we are moving to from one place to another place, there is a friction. Okay, so while before moving on the uh, moving on the object, okay, before moving, we are having a friction. That friction we can say is a static friction. This friction is refers to the object is at rest. Okay, this friction is refers that it represents the uh, rest object is at rest. That is static. Friction. This friction that is before moving the object. Okay, before moving the object, the object is at rest. Is it right? That rest position. Okay, while moving before coming to the moving position, that we can say is a static friction. So what we mean by static friction? This static friction. Okay, frictional force that comes into contact with another object. Comes into contact with another object that is moving a ball. So ball is like this. Okay, it is on the on the position. Okay, so that position is moving. Okay, so before coming into the contact of another place, so that we can say it is a static friction. Okay, so that is the an object starts moving. Okay, so while moving starts moving. So before that moving, that we can say is a static friction. So an object is at rest. An object is at rest. So while moving this object from one place to another place. So before moving, it comes to that is it comes to contact with this place. Okay, it comes to contact with this place. So before coming to contact with that place, that friction. Okay, on that place. So an object is on rest. So before coming to the contact with another place. So before coming to contact. So this friction, before friction, okay. So that we can say is a static friction, okay. So an object has to overcome the static frictional force in order to start its movement. In order to start its movement before coming to contact with the other place, okay. So that friction we can say is a static friction. So another type of friction is sliding friction. Sliding friction. You all know children what is mean by sliding? Okay. So we are playing on the slides now. So that friction we can say is a sliding friction. An object is coming into the contact, coming into play with the uh, another object, another places. That we can say is a sliding friction. That is such a movement is called slide. We are sliding now. So that we can say is a sliding friction. So sliding friction is the 
force that opposes the movement of the slide on the object. We are sliding. So the opposite friction, okay, the place is moving. There only is it right? We are moving. So the friction is opposite direction. Okay. So that is it is like this. We are sliding here. The uh, friction is moving like this. The object is moving this side. So the friction is opposite direction. So it is a sliding friction. Okay. And then the third type of friction is rolling friction. Rolling friction. Rolling friction also you know. Okay. That is throwing the ball. Okay. Hitting the ball. The ball is rolling over from one place to another place. That is rolling friction. Okay. So what is mean by rolling friction? When an object is rolling from one place to another place on a surface of the force of your friction. That is one place to another place. The object is rolling. Okay. So there also the frictional forces are acting on the opposite direction. Okay. So sliding friction and rolling friction most probably it can be same. Okay. Sliding means the object is coming in contact with same. Okay. Rolling means all the same. Okay. That is the ball is rolling over like this. Okay. So rolling friction and start. That is sliding friction. Okay. I am so children. So rolling friction and sliding friction. Okay. And then fourth type of friction is fluid friction. Okay. What does it mean by fourth type? That is fluid friction. Fluid friction. Okay. So what is mean by fluid friction? That is in the state of here. Yeah, object is a liquid state. Okay. Object is a liquid state. That is when an object is moving in a yeah, fluid. Okay. I don't know. That is in a wet surface. Oil is moving. That is all. We can say this very good example. Mercury is moving now. While seeing mercury is moving. That is a fluid friction. Okay. So that is it exerts the fluid friction upon the object. Based on the object it can be depends on the surface. Okay. So in a wet surface we are pouring the oil. That oil is moving from one place to another place. That we can say is a fluid friction. Okay. Children. Understood children. Okay. So these are the types of friction. What are the four types of friction? One is static friction. Okay. The static friction can be applied before moving the object. Okay. And second is sliding friction and rolling friction and fluid friction. Okay. So what are the advantages of friction? Okay. So what are the advantages? What are the advantages of friction? So we can write by the frictional force. Okay. We are having a pen now. The pen tip is moving on the paper. While moving on the paper there is a frictional force. Is it right? So we can able to write. We can able to walk. Okay. We can able to stand also. Okay. So these are the uses. Okay. So we can able to fix the nail on the wall. Okay. That is also a friction. Okay. So advantages of friction. We can able to eat. Okay. We can able to eat and we can able to walk. We can able to write. Okay. These are all the advantages of friction. And then we can able to construct a building also. Okay. Without the friction, we can't able to build a building. Is it right? So that also it is easy. And without the friction, so till we saw this, we can able to write So these are all the advantages of the friction. Okay. So it would not be able to without friction we can't be able to construct any buildings. Okay. So then so without frictional force we can't do anything. Okay. So it is not possible. So then disadvantages also there no. So if there is any advantages. So some disadvantages also there. Okay. So what are the disadvantages of the friction? What are the disadvantages? So the main advantage, disadvantages, the main disadvantage is wear and tear. Okay. So wear and tear is the main 
disadvantages. What do we mean by wear and tear? So we are wearing your shoes, no? That shoes are coming into the frictional force. The soles of the shoes are tearing. Okay. So that is wear and tear. That is disadvantages of the frictional force. Wear and tear of the objects. Okay. Such as that is moving parts of the vehicle. So and machines also. So in some machines are coming with contact. The parts of the machines are coming with contact. So that can be spoiled. Okay. So the but that frictional force is spoiling the objects of the parts of the machine. Okay. And the soles of the shoes are comes to tear. It it takes some more time. So not in the banana uh, times. Okay. It takes some more time to wear and tear. Okay. And then it also results the production of Sound, okay. Production of sound. So, some places there, there is we are hearing a yeah, very big sound that is breaking the vehicles. Also, we are hearing a yeah, sound. Okay, that is production of sound. And some more frictions are having production of heat. So, more heat. So, why do we are have, that is in producing of more heat of the frictional force? That is loss of energy. Loss of loss of energy. Okay, loss of energy. Okay, and it leads to pollution also. Okay, in some more cases, it uh, by the frictional force it produces smoke also that causes pollution. And some more places, so more sound. Is it right? Based on the more sound, it causes noise pollution. It causes Noise pollution causes noise pollution. These are the advantages, disadvantages of the frictional force. These are the disadvantages of the frictional force. Okay, so more force is required to drive a vehicle. While driving a vehicle, more force is applied. So it comes to contact with the frictional force. It suddenly stops. There is a sound is produced. So that sound we can say is a noise. Okay, and then in some of factories and industries, there is a frictional forces are using to pro produce so many products. Okay, so there it is releasing of heat energy. So there the loss of energy is there. Okay, so these are the disadvantages of the frictional forces. Okay, so read the textbook, children.